What we're going to talk about now is the southern cricket frog. Um, in a lot of states, this is an indigenous species and can be illegal to keep. And so if it's captive bred, uh, just make sure that you're, you're keeping a legal species. This is generally seen as a southeastern species. Um, it is a type of uh, tree frog. It, its name is Acris grillis. Uh, that's its, its scientific name. It's pretty small. It's actually about three-eighths of an inch to one-quarter of an inch. So pretty small cricket. Uh, cricket frog. It gets its name from the look. It has this uh, this kind of brown square with green over the top back and it's small enough that it can be kind of seen as a cricket. Um, they actually are insectivores eating small crickets, waxworms, mealworms, and things like that in captivity. They need to be kept in a semi-moist environment or a tropical type of environment that's on the cool side. Um, all frogs generally are not hot species and so, um, well at least most of them, um, this little guy has a click, click type of chirp to it, um, and they do not have the ability to climb like other tree frogs do. So morphologically, they're, they're in the tree frog family, but they are not generally climbers, and they're more active during the day, whereas most toads and frogs are actually more active at night. So they do differ as a species a little bit, but just make sure it's legal to keep and you have a healthy one, and check with your veterinary clinic or your pet store uh, if you have questions regarding that.